Hello there, a very warm welcome to the Green at Morton weekly update, as sponsored by McTears, the auctioneers. Your chance to get behind the scenes at Capital Park. And to do just that, I'm very pleased to say that I'm joined by Lewis Strap today. Lewis, how are you? All right, how's it going? It's good, mate. You're looking in trim condition. Oh, thank you, thank you. No, just hard work now, innit? After the new year. It's been a breakthrough season for you this year, hasn't it, really? Yeah, 100%. Obviously, last year I've been on loan. Not the happiest when I got told I was going, but nah, enjoyed it. So glad to be back. Did you feel you learned a lot when you were out on loan? Yeah, I had two spells, obviously, Elgin and then Annan, but nah, I enjoyed it a lot. Bit of travel, though, Elgin. I, I know. The first, when I got told I was up there, a few of the boys were like, what are you doing and that? But nah, I loved it up there. Do you know what I mean? I played every week. So that's the main thing, game time. Now, you're only 20. Yeah. But you're one of the veterans, really, because you've been here since the Youth Academy, uh, 2012. Here since day one, so now I've enjoyed it the full way through, so can't complain. You've got a contract up to 2022, which would take you to 10 years with the club. Aye, <laughs> testimonial to <time>, that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm kidding on, but no, nah, aye, 10 years, glad to be here, so nah, it's good. I've enjoyed it, so obviously now getting game time and stuff, so that's what I'm here for. Great run since New Year, obviously ICT the other night wasn't, aye, wasn't nah. the best, but... Aye, it was a bit of a tough one to take, I think we went up there and we competed quite well, so aye, to lose in the 92nd minute it's not great as a defender, but you know, we just have to hang in, do you know what I mean, we've got plenty of games left, so... What have you put the run down to since New Year? I don't know, I think we've, actually, I think we've kept the like, training quite high compared to maybe like what other teams would be doing, do you know what I mean, we've actually kicked on now. Do you know what I mean after the second after the, like after the Christmas break, obviously you just keep going. Do you know what I mean with actual up to tempo a little bit? So I think that's what it's maybe down to. February in particular, brilliant month. Three draws, two wins, a win away at United, a win at Queen of the South. How do you rate those away victories in terms of this season? I, I rate them obviously really high. Do you know what I mean like if you look at the start of the season, we hadn't won away for how long? Don't know how many months it was. Do you know what I mean it was a bit of a so now. Do you know what I mean to obviously turn that over now and start getting away victories and stuff like that, but obviously I still look back at the like the, vic the, the draws against Aloe and stuff like that, obviously. No, I mean, it's a bit of a kick in the teeth as well then. Your personal form, people describe you as an old-fashioned full-back. You're probably too young to know what that is, but no. you know, you're know you combative in the, the, the tackle, you get forward, uh, you overlap, you're an attacking full-back in, in the old-fashioned sense of the word. No, you, no, I do love a tackle. I can't, can't <laughs> say I don't like a tackle, so... I know, I, I do like defending, I think that's where I'm better, I think I need to maybe work out a little bit but going forward, do you know what I mean, get a little bit more confident on the ball going forward, but no, nah, I do enjoy defending. That's unusual, isn't it? I mean, you've got a lot of defenders now, particularly right and left back, where, where they want to bomb forward, they see themselves more as little wing backs, but you actually see yourself as more of a defender? Uh, I, I 100% I, but I think I do need to maybe get, that's what I want to work on, is obviously getting better at going forward and getting into the final third and maybe making a, an impact. Well, one of the ways you make an impact is by your ability to throw in from a shy. <laughs> is that something you've practised? No, nah, it's not something I've practised. I think just over, like, I used to play left mid for, like, the under, like, 18s and stuff. So when I obviously moved to left back, like, just started taking throw-ins and it's just been kind of natural to join through that. Just started being able to throw it <laughs> 50 yards or whatever it is. Well, 50 yards, I mean, it's pretty impressive. There's people that can't throw a baseball. Ah, I know. That far, you know. No, nah, some of the boys' throw-ins are atrocious in there, in there when you've seen a few of the boys look up, his throw-ins aren't great when he <laughs> went to left back in the, don't know what game it was, but no, nah, his throw-ins aren't great, there's a few boys that try to compete with me, but they're miles off it. Well, I've seen you cross the park to take them from the right as well, it doesn't matter if it's left or yeah. right, I've seen you come across, it's almost like having a corner kick sometimes with you. Uh, no, it's a, it's a good thing to have, do you know what I mean, like, gets you into the, gets the centre halves up, gets us another extra wee chance, do you know what I mean, you see it in the, the game that sticks in my head the most, the Partick Thistle game, three two at home. So, nah, that's a highlight of my long throw. I think at the moment. What's the highlight of your season then? Uh, nah, we were talking. The boys were talking about this the other day, and I was saying uh, the Partick Thistle game. I enjoyed that the most. I enjoyed the Hibs game as well, but then I enjoyed uh, beating Air. So it's between them three. I enjoyed that Air game. Let's look ahead then. Um, a both coming up on Saturday. This you know, sequence of, of good run actually started away to our growth. Yeah. It's going to be a tough game, though. Yeah, it's always tough playing them. It's, you know I mean? it's never going to be a pretty game. You know how they like to play, do you know what I mean? But at home, I think you know, we are quite strong, so we can break them down nice and easy here. Do you know what I mean? Compared to away from home, it's nice and hard going up there. Do you set yourself 
personal, professional targets for a season? Uh, a little bit I I like to get, I want to get, as I was saying there, I want to get a little bit more, maybe assists going forward, maybe get a goal I've not scored in a while, so I think that's something I'm looking to get. I mean, you're getting plenty of game time this season. Yeah, 100%, that's the main thing, like compared to all the other seasons I've been playing the wee games at the end of the year and that, but look, do you know what I mean now I'm constantly playing? Now there's been a couple of suggestions we sniffing about about potential international recognition. Is that an ambition of yours to play for your country? Obviously it's something that I'd love to do, do you know what I mean? And I've always like thought about it and that, but at the, at the moment it's just like concentrating on what's going on here until the season's done, do you know what I mean? How do you see the, how do you see the season going from Morton for the, the season going good though after the break? Do you know what I mean like I think it just shows like obviously how far we've come before uh, Christmas like the victory even going up to Inverness like the first two times at right at the start of the season were like a big shock to us and then now you look at like how far we've come. And are you the biggest star in the noon because you're a professional football? Uh, there's only there's only a few of us me maybe Decky McDaid and then that's really it but it's like staying in and regularly still like a wee bit but nah. Uh, I'd maybe say, nah, nah, me and Decky, it's between me and Decky at the moment, but... Do you keep in touch? Uh, no, I, I do like playing against him though, that's the thing, so like every time he's come down to play us, he'll obviously go home and that, so I'll text him and see if he's away home for the weekend and stuff, but we do, like pre-season and that, if I'm home, we'll go out or run or something like that, but... No, we do keep in touch, I do like to play against him though, but the last time we played, they didn't play my side, which is, I was quite annoyed about because the first two times I had him in my back pocket and it was quite a nice wee, <laughs> it was quite a nice wee like, fight we had, so nah, I enjoyed it. Well listen, good luck on Saturday, obviously. Thank you very much. Uh, good luck for the rest of the season and thanks for coming in to see us today. Nice, thank you. And thank you for joining us on the Good at Morton weekly update as sponsored by Meteors, the auctioneers.